Hi, I'm Chef Mike, and today we have a special treat. It's Parmesan crusted rack of lamb. We've already done the hard part and frenched them for you. It's easy to make, so let's get started. This beautiful rack of lamb comes already frenched and ready to go. You just merely have to put it in your refrigerator and thaw it out for 24 hours ahead of time. We'll start by heating our skillet over a medium high heat for at least one minute. Next, we're gonna season our rack of lamb with some kosher salt and some fresh cracked pepper. We'll repeat for the second side. Now we'll add the oil to the hot pan, swirl the coat, and we'll place the rack of lamb in, fat side down to sear. Now this is a very crucial step because it adds a lot of great flavor to our rack of lamb. We're going to make sure you get all sides, including the ends. Now we're going to set it aside on a clean cutting board and we're going to preheat our oven to 450 degrees. Next we're going to place our breadcrumbs and our Parmesan cheese and our dried thyme in a mixing bowl and we'll mix well with a fork. We're going to finely dice up a garlic clove. Next we're going to brush on some Dijon mustard, making sure we get all sides. Next we'll sprinkle on some of our garlic and use a spoon to spread it out where it's even. You could use a little or a lot. I don't use that much. Just enough for some great garlic flavor. Next we're bringing our Parmesan breadcrumb mixture and coat all sides. And we'll place it on our bacon dish. Now we're gonna place this in our hot oven for 12 to 15 minutes for a nice medium rare. In the meantime, let's get our port reduction going. We'll heat our pan on about a medium heat, add our port, and reduce to what's about the thickness of maple syrup. Now that's looking nice. When it coats the back of a spoon, it's ready. Boy, now that is looking and smelling great. We're gonna want this to rest for at least 10 minutes before we carve. To build some spinach, we'll place a large stock pot over a medium high heat, and we'll add some butter to the pan. And we'll wait for it to turn nut brown, which is right about now. We'll add our spinach, a little salt, pepper, and we'll keep it moving to wilt, which only takes about one minute. And we'll serve. 